You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Coming back now to the double glazing I mentioned before, specialised double glazing requires a larger air gap between the inner and outer glass than normal double glazing. The gap must be at least seven centimetres. The thickness of the glass is also a factor, eight millimetres on the outside and six on the inside pane. It's essential that the glass be thicker on the outside than on the inside, and that the gap between the panes of glass be a minimum of seven centimetres. Obviously, the noise factor will have to be taken into consideration with the layout of the houses. Living areas will have to be designed at the back of the houses, away from the highway. Bedrooms and living rooms will have to be built towards the back. And for those houses closest to the highway, two layers of plasterboard will be needed for the interior bedroom walls. Those rooms constructed at the front of the houses should be garages, laundries, kitchens, bathrooms and dining rooms. I have come to the conclusion that this development should go ahead, but with various acoustic modifications according to the position of the block in relation to the highway and intersection.